Dear comrades, uh, I, in my name and in the name of People's Democratic Party, HDP, am extremely honored for having been privileged to address your Congress and convey the messages of solidarity from our jailed co-chairs Selahattin Demirtas and Figen Yüksekdağ. HDP, ahead of the September general elections, full-heartedly wishes the link a successful campaign and a strong parliamentary presence. We call millions of workers, women and youth, young people of Turkish and Kurdish origin and their descent to vote for the link and other progressive candidates across Germany. <laughs> The Linke is the only party who fights for social justice and who is concerned with the rights of the Kurds, Turks, Arabs, Ezidis, or others, not only in Germany, but also in the motherland of their loved ones. The right to freedom, peace, democracy, and self-determination in Turkey and Kurdistan, freedom of conscience for the Alawites, gender equality for the women and the LGBTQ, labor rights and the protection of the nature. In this context, allow me to mention a comrade personally, Andre Hunko, who has gained the link an excellent image with his determination in pursuit of peace, democracy and human rights as part of international delegations to Turkey. His stubborn efforts in evidencing the unfairness of 16th April referendum in Turkey and his tactful response to the tyrant's accusations that followed has also proved his personal qualities as an international activist. Vielen Dank, Andre. We in Turkey are passing through a difficult period, probably one of the most difficult periods of all Turkish history, both as the party and as the people. With 11 dep deputies, dozens of mayors, hundreds of party officials, and thousands of members in prison under systematic persecution in a ruthless emergency case rule, the HDP still remains as the single opposition party in Turkey. In the fight against fascism and the colonial war on the Kurdish people, we rely on the international solidarity of the left and democratic forces of Europe and the region. Our fight is not framed with selfish international interests and partial demands. Fighting against the tyranny of the political Islam in Turkey is part of the general fight against inter-imperialist plans for controlling the Middle East through so-called soft Islamist proxies. Fighting against the rise of fascism on the east side of the Europe is the continuation of the fight against nationalism and right populism on the west side of the uh, continent. Fighting against militarism and war in Turkey is an inevitable component for fighting against the military-industrial complex of Europe. These multi multilateral responsibilities once again raise the need for a coordinated struggle against capitalism and concrete plans and actions for solidarity. The successive defeat of British conservatives and French fascists in Europe are great moments of inspiration. Peoples of Europe are refusing and will continue to refuse Trump-style demagoguery and stupidity. And the great success of labor 
under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn in the UK is particularly inspiring that the old values are not dead. Boldly speaking about the truth and fighting for the good of all may be old in the sense of their deep rootedness in human history, but, the, but nothing can be more fresh than talking about revolution face to face. <laughs> we are assured that the DLNK will be able to push Germany forward in pursuit of social justice for all. Looking at the international developments, we can recall what Marx had told on the relationship uh, between the progressive forces of Europe. When all internal, internal conditions have been fulfilled, the day of the German uprising will be heralded by the crowing of the Gallic cock, Marx had said. It might be still early to anticipate the crowing of the Gallic cock, yet there is nothing wrong with Germany to follow France and Britain in defeating the right. You can rely on our solidarity. Thank you.